On August 8, 2000, the CIA's secret Mars remote viewing project was officially made public, revealing claims of ancient civilization on Mars. The documents, released under the imaginative government-style name, CIARDP960078800190760019, details an extraordinary psychic session that sought to gather intelligence about Mars as it existed one million years ago. And you thought they were wasting your tax money. In that remarkable disclosure that reads more like science fiction than government intelligence, CIA documents pulled back the curtain on one of the agency's most enigmatic programs a classified operation that attempted to uncover the ancient history of Mars through unconventional means. Okay, so what was the methodology? The CIA's approach was methodically structured, employing a technique known as remote viewing, a controversial practice where subjects allegedly use extrasensory perception to gather information about distant or unseen targets. The subject was provided with a sealed envelope containing specific geographic coordinates, 40.89 degrees north, 9.5, 5 degrees west, and temporal parameters but crucially, was not informed these coordinates referred to Mars until after the session concluded. The sealed envelope was given to the subject immediately prior to the interview, the document states, underlining the strict protocols employed to prevent any potential bias. The envelope was not opened until after the interview. What do they mean by structural discoveries? The subject's initial observations described massive pyramid-like structures in a depressed area of the Martian landscape. These structures, described as yellowish, ochre-colored, were reportedly of megalithic proportions. Unlike traditional archaeological finds, these pyramids were reported to serve a distinctly practical purpose, protection from severe atmospheric disturbances that plagued the planet. Different chambers, strictly functional place for sleeping or hibernations, the subject reported, describing the interior of these structures. They're like shelters from storms. They're designed for that. Are these signs of civilization of imagination? Perhaps most compelling, were the detailed descriptions of what appeared to be the final days of an ancient Martian civilization. The subject described encountering beings facing an existential crisis, demonstrating advanced philosophical awareness of their situation. According to the transcripts, these entities were very philosophic about it. They're looking for a way to survive and they just can't. The documents reveal a particularly poignant detail. A group had apparently departed on a mission to find a new home while others remained behind hanging on while they look or wait for something to return or something coming with the answer. Apparently there was a catastrophe. The session provided startling insights into what might have led to this civilization's apparent downfall. The subject described witnessing evidence of a massive environmental catastrophe, potentially triggered by a cosmic event. I'm sorry to jump in here, but they pay me to ask you to like and subscribe, so please do, and maybe I'll get to keep my job. It's like a globe that goes through a comet's tail the subject reported, suggesting a cataclysmic astronomical event may have contributed to Mars's transformation from a potentially habitable world to its current state. Is there a scientific context? Dr. Sarah Henderson, an astrobiologist at Princeton University who was not involved in the program, offers a measured perspective. While these claims are extraordinary and should be approached with appropriate skepticism, they oddly align with some of what we now know about Mars's past. We have clear evidence that Mars once had liquid water and a thicker atmosphere. The real question is, what happened to it? The intelligence community, if you want to call it that, had a response. 1. The CIA has maintained its characteristic silence regarding specific details of this program. However, former intelligence officer Marcus Williams notes, During the Cold War, no stone was left unturned in the search for intelligence advantages. Programs like these, while unconventional, represented the agency's willingness to explore every possible avenue of information gathering. Are there broader implications? These documents raise intriguing questions about both the nature of intelligence gathering and our understanding of Mars's history. While the scientific community maintains healthy skepticism about remote viewing's validity, these declassified materials provide fascinating insights into the lengths government agencies would go to gather intelligence during the Cold War era. As we continue to explore Mars with increasingly sophisticated robots and, eventually, human missions, these historical documents serve as a reminder of humanity's enduring fascination with the Red Planet and our persistent questions about what, or who, might have once called it home. For breaking news, old news, crazy new and boring news, and meaningless analysis on this and other stories, please subscribe to A Stormy Podcast, Events, Ideas, and Realities. Thank you.